This is my tour of the lifts at IKEA in Lakeside. Even though I've had this channel for almost a year, this is my first ever lift tour. Let's take a look at the map which I've made. Let's start at the entrance, where there's a single Schindler escalator. There was nothing very interesting about it, and it was the only thing which I didn't film. Now let's go on to the first lift, which is a Schindler 2500. <laughs> Now let's go to the next lift, which is another Schindler 2500, and it's just behind this one. Now let's go and have a look at the staff lift. In the day, this lift is mostly used to bring trolleys up. But I suspect that at night it's also used to help stock stuff. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm guessing it was some sort of Schindler, which has had some sort of generic mod done to it. This lift also uses a keypad to call it. Now let's go and have a look at the final lift, which is a modded UK lift and is very similar to the other Schindler 2500s. It might have originally been a Schindler 2500, but I'm not sure what it used to be. The earliest video of it which I can find shows it being a UK lift. You can even see where the old indicator used to be. This lift is going up. Doors closing. Floor one. Closing. This lift was originally installed by Aurora Lifts in 2013.
The Schindler logo on this lift looks really cheap. It looks just like a sticker you can peel off. Floor one. Doors opening. Since this lift has been modded, it's been given a new indicator and its logic has been switched out to digital advance. Floor one. This is what the old indicator used to be like before it got modded. Now let's go and have a ride on the Travelator. It took absolutely ages to film this without anyone else being on it. Much longer than it took to film any of the other lifts. Most of the time we only have one of these travelators switched on and it always seems to be the one on the right which is switched off. of the escalator with the emergency stop button. I just want to say thank you for watching. If you liked this tour please leave a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. In case you didn't know the one year anniversary of this channel is coming up and I'm not sure what I'm going to do to celebrate so if you have any ideas just put them in the comments below. I am at the moment working on the Norway tour. I want to get it out around Christmas time but I can't promise anything. To celebrate a year since my first upload, apart from revisiting that first lift, I don't know what I'm going to do, so any ideas will be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching and stay tuned as I've got some really good content coming up soon, hopefully, if I can bother to finish editing it.